So finally, um, I'd like to ask Clifford Chance to present their awards, and I want to thank you for all the special efforts that you put into it as well. Big thanks. A big thank you to, uh, to Citibank. Uh, we've been proud and delighted to have worked with you on what I think has been a truly um, inspirational project on which you've shown great leadership. So thank you very much for that. Um, now, we're making six awards uh, today, and that will consist of access to specialist legal and regulatory advice, because unfortunately for all these great innovative fintech companies, law and regulation is going to provide a block on achieving success. And so we very much want to work with them to make sure that we can unblock uh, some of the obstacles that um, they will face and to ensure that they achieve their business objectives for the good of the world. Um, so after much deliberation uh, of, on our six awards, our first Give a Chance Award recip recipient is ATEC from Dublin. And like many, what struck us about ATEC was its clarity and personal passion behind its focal focus on what we think is a big, single, perennially difficult question, which is how to ensure that beneficiaries of aid receive the donations intended for them. Congratulations to them. Second recipient is Carto from Madrid. We are impressed with their sophisticated location data and spatial an anal analysis tools to enable them and organizations in the financial insurance sec uh, sectors to identify and to prevent fraud. Very well done. Third recipient is DigiSign from Hong Kong. Uh, their platform enables users to securely store and validate documents on a blockchain technology. It has applications in many, many sectors. Um, in particular, it's regularly applied to legal documents, how they're executed, stored, and how they produce evidence. So it's an obvious one for us to have chosen to assist. Our fourth recipient is IDME from Washington, D.C., which allows consumers to prove who they are online while controlling how information is shared, both with governments and with companies, and enabling trust in day-to-day -day transactions. Fifth recipient, Traddle, who are based in London and New York. Traddle digitizes compliance by again using blockchain to enable customers to move their, no, uh, their, no, their customer uh, documents across barriers, across borders, including ring-fenced institutions and jurisdictions. So very well done to them. And then our sixth and final uh, recipient is Scream Technologies from Singapore. And like City and others, we found their impressive use of AI and behavioral data analysis set it apart from the competition. So a very, very, um, very, very many thanks to City. Very many thanks to everyone in this room and all of the participants. Very many congratulations to our winners, and we very much look forward to working with them in the future. So I think that we've seen from the awards that were just handed out that this is going to be an ongoing relationship between the companies and the winners of these awards. Um, when you heard some of these awards, it's not just cash prizes, but it's ongoing engagement, and it's how we're going to take these companies, help accelerate them, and help get them to market, and help really change um, the paradigm that we're operating with. So now as we tr um, transition to turning this over to our host today, the IMF, but before we do that, let me ask Chairman of Citigroup, Mike O'Neill, up to the stage to introduce our esteemed speaker. Mike is also going to make a few remarks. Mike is not only Chairman of Citi, but has led the board on our technology strategy and is a lead advocate for the firm's citizenship efforts. Uh, Mike even volunteered to act as a judge for the final award today. So please welcome Mike O'Neill. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Uh, let me add my congratulations to all of today's award winners and express uh, my appreciation to our strategic allies for their commitment and contributions to the Tech for Integrity Challenge. Uh, 